Hello, Libras. Grand afternoon. Grand risings to you again. Sun, moon, rising, north node, you know, wherever Libra may be sprinkled in your chart, you are indeed welcome right here. I just wanted to come give you an energetic update. <laughs> and the team is asking me to mention what occurred yesterday. Now, I feel like this has a lot to do with some of you. As per usual, some or all of these messages may or may not resonate with you in this current passage of moments. So Libras, please do only take the messages that vibrate with you. So yesterday, I come home. It's the middle of the afternoon. And there is some food in a bowl on my steps. At first, I didn't know that there was food in the bowl. And I knew, as soon as I saw the bowl, this is funny, I knew where the bowl was from. I knew the restaurant that this food had come from. And it was Panda Express. Someone got a a bowl from Panda Express. So I recognized the bowl. The bowl was flipped upside down on the steps, at the bottom of my steps. So... I'm like, who the hell left this bowl here? So as I was walking up the steps, I kicked the bowl. And that's when a whole bunch of rice and shit, fried rice. And I guess somebody looked like, it looked like they had orange chicken. Because there were two pieces, (laughs) two small ass pieces. Don't ask me, I'm just going to give you all the details. Two small ass pieces of orange chicken still left in the bowl mixed in with all the rice. So the rice and shit fell down the stairs along with the bowl. And I'm like, okay, now I have to clean that shit up. So I immediately went into the house and got my outside broom and came back downstairs. Now, I didn't touch that bowl with my bare hands because something told me not to. So, of course, I didn't. I grabbed the bowl in two bags. I had two bags folded inside one another, two shopping bags. So I grabbed the bowl and I swept the rice into the planters. I figured, well, the ants will get them. So, I feel like someone may work at a restaurant or at some type of eatery that you may go to. This could even be that you go to infrequently. Someone may have tried to poison you or somebody was contemplating poisoning you and they changed their mind. Something turned upside down. Something didn't work out in their favor. They weren't able to poison you or they weren't able to put something in your food or do something to your food. It's like their plan got foiled. I'm also being asked to caution you. Be careful where you're eating right now Libras and I know this has been in the energy for (laughs) actually uh, quite some time now it's been a few months It, it, it pops up every now and again but be careful who you're breaking bread with be careful where you're getting food from if you're eating out I know me personally I've been eating at home cooking for myself enjoying doing it as well I do sometimes still, though, go out to eat or get food from a restaurant, from an eatery. I'm very careful to only select places where I can see them fixing my food, meaning uh, there's no drive through I'm, I'm not doing any type of drive through service or going any place where they're not preparing the food literally in front of me. So I'm being cautioned to give you the same word of advice. So as I'm sweeping up the rice, I'm noticing that my neighbor across the street, who I know has been watching me, sent to pay to, however, his windows happen to be open and it's crazy because I'm getting deja vu right now. So I know I'm supposed to give this message. So I noticed that his windows are open. And I know that his windows were open because whomever placed that bowl, and mind you, this has never happened before. None of my neighbors 
because I have a neighbor um, next to me and of two neighbors downstairs, you know, the one below me and the one next to them. None of my neighbors have ever left food on the stairs. And I've been at this residence for quite some time. Nobody has ever left food on the fucking stairs. Yesterday, of all days, I come home. There's a damn bowl upside down with food in it. At the bottom of my steps. So I'm like, okay, so he's watching it and I just felt it like the team was was giving me like literal up-to-date intel his windows were open because normally during the day because of how his house sits he normally doesn't have his windows open during the day he may open them kind of later in the afternoon these are just things I noticed I'm not watching this neighbor across the street but again I, I notice things I'm aware so I'm like, okay, so he's watching to see my reaction, to check my reaction, to see what I'm going to do about this bowl on the stairs. So I promptly cleaned it up and then took the bowl with, or took the bag with the bowl in it to the dumpster. And so as I hit the corner where I would come back into view of his residence, team said, make sure you smile. <laughs> Never let him see you sweat is what they told me. So I made sure I walked all the way up the stairs just smiling and shit. Like, okay. So that was designed, that whole little setup there was designed to bring anger out of me, resentment, um, just low vibrational energy. And what the team further explained to me is there are a lot of entities, body jumping and to people that you come into contact with, perfect strangers. This could even just be somebody you pass by in the store. You don't even have to say anything. They don't have to say anything to you. But a lot of entities being sent by certain energies are attempting to anger you, to cause you to feel resentment, a strong, deep desire for hate, because they're trying to elicit this response from you in order to drain energy off of you. What the team also just informed me, I'm telling you just a minute, that's why I had to hop on here real quick. I was like, let me pull over and give this message. They were like, do that. So here I am and there you are. So these energies that have sent out these entities want you to be so devolved into a hateful energy, a hateful spirit, because for a high vibrational being to drop down into low vibrational energies, whether they do it themselves or they're dragged there, provoked there, however, that energy is more potent than if they were to just cause and I dislike to use the term, but normie, if they were to cause a normie to be angry or resentful or that very lowest of the low vibrations, hateful. The energy, yes, you know, their whole premise, of course, is to drain energies off of others because they're energy vampires. This is what they do. Yes, they can get negative energy, which is what feeds them. Um, loosh. Uh, But it's just not as good. It's just not as tasty. It's just not as of a delectable morsel as it would be as if that negative energy came from a high vibrational energy that they pulled and or drag down into a low vibrational energy and or state. So Libras, what I'm saying to you is it's very important at this time. It's very important. I stress it. I stress it. I stress it. It's very important at this time to remain high vibrational, to remain balanced, to keep your equilibrium, to mind your temperament. I don't 
don't care if you have to smile to fake it. Because psychologically speaking, you will trick your mind into feeling a higher frequency. Do breath work. Sometimes if you hold your fingers like this, this can pull your mind neurologically into a creative space. I actually feel the energy circling through my three fingers at this time. You'll notice a lot of creative people sometimes when they're talking, you might catch someone doing this. It's a mind hack. Guard your energies, Libra. Stay protected. Know that you are protected, but know that there are energies sending out entities to definitely antagonize you into a low vibrational state so that they can feed off that low vibrational energy from a high vibrational source, i.e. you. Didn't mean the point, but I love you. Libra, keep shining bright. Smile in the face of adversity. Oh, they hate it. They don't like when that energy is directed back at them, but it's not the energy that they're seeking. Isn't that funny? That's the energy they're looking for, that negative energy. But when it's directed back at them in a way that they can't control, oh, they just like it, Libra. So, ma'am, sir, lady, man, high vibe tribe, I'm talking to you. Stay high vibrational. Know that I'm with you. We are all walking our own separate paths, but a lot of us are headed in the same direction. Please do remember to utilize your own intuition and discernment to continue making the very best decisions for your own good, for your highest good, Libras. I love you very much. United we stand, together we rise. Holla at your girl. Peace.